Hello Scorpios, so this is your love reading for June 2018. Okay, let's see, what's up with you guys? Um, I guess it's a general reading, so it may not apply to everyone. In, in case you want a private reading, you can always contact me. I left the information below in the video description. Anyway, so I'm setting the intention. Whoever needs to hear a message the most, I hope that the cards give us some meaningful insights. Okay, so let's see Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpios? Seven of staff, the stress, innocence, openness of the sun. Yeah, you're dealing with someone shitty. Seven of swords, gotta let go. Okay, so for some of you guys, not all of you, there's a tension with your relationship you kind of want something new but I feel like you're holding yourself back so you're dealing with a shitty person uh, that is not being um, truthful that is not being um, it's not good for you in way they behave in ways that they're not really uh, respectful or um, yeah so anyway you're dealing with a shitty person and there is tensions you do want something else you do want some change but you're holding yourself back because you still there's something that you don't want to lose is the five of cups attachment to the past there's this um, attachment that is holding you back there's this thing that you're it's hard for you for some reason to let go um, wait a six of let me do some clarifications card this yeah it's for you so no you for sure you're dealing with a shitty person <laughs> at the Bible towards now the comparison that is not seeing correctly things doesn't want to doesn't have to um, like they're, they're selfish they're for their own interest they're being deceitful they're being so you're dealing with someone that you shouldn't even have a problem in you uh, know breaking up with or you know um, Get them out of your uh, life. Um, things look good for you if you'll do this. Like the hope, the star card, and then success, top of the world. It's like you're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself in this real tense relationship, in this with the shitty people. Because this the fear of losing this fear of this so this some attachment there but it's like you're holding yourself back it's crazy things like you want to change you want something else you want to open up you want to something good to happen to you you want the sun to shine on your street finally but it's like you're holding yourself back uh, because of unwillingness to detach and to let go Oh, let me see. Let's do one more. Okay, mm. Scorpios, Scorpios. Yeah. Some more clues on this. What's going on? What is it that you need to do or how to approach things? Okay, 
Okay, the same card, the stress in the middle. Um, yeah, completion. You finally need to end it. It's done. It's a final judgment. You need to ask and demand uh, to be treated like you deserve to be treated. You and not from them. Like you cannot force people, but you need to treat yourself. Like if you allow people to treat you badly, it means like you, you allow it. You treat yourself badly if you allow others to. Feel. Like it's your choice. Uh, if you know that something is wrong and you're letting it happen, it's like you're doing it to yourself. You're allowing it because at some level, for whatever reason, you don't challenge yourself, you don't. So you kind of need to challenge yourself in this way. Ask more. Ask for more. Know that you deserve more. Know that uh, you have to like be done with this, complete this completion. Coming to an end, coming full full circle, like put an end to this, and this is a new beginning. Finally, see through all the bullshit, transcending the illusion. With this new, this awareness, this understanding, a new you is being born with new. Um, so what's that word? <laughs> I forgot the word. When you expect more, with new expectations, with new, um, when you don't allow it to happen anymore, when you don't allow people to, because like when you don't value yourself, you allow others, ad, ad, other people, to treat you like you, you don't matter, like you don't. So it all comes down to you. It all comes down to what you think you deserve because if you think you deserve more you're not going to allow these people in your life so it's not up to how they what they do how they see it's what you allow so you have to challenge yourself detach from that uh, let go of that fear of losing something because it's really what's the point like if, if you're not getting what you need if you're not being treated with respect what do you lose so it's only an attachment in your mind like not i don't know whatever is it that you think it's hard to let go of really ponder and think of like what is it really that you're letting go of um maybe there's Maybe you're afraid to let go because of some, I don't know, It could sometimes it could be because of traumas you had in the childhood that somehow now you're behaving according to that pattern. You're afraid of losing, you're afraid of, so you might need to do some more healing, more inner healing to get to the root of why you're, why is it hard for you to let go of certain things, especially when you know that they're not good for you? So, yeah, so from the card, it's like you need to challenge yourself to know that you deserve more, you need more, and you can put an end to this if you're not receiving the respect and the support that you need. So, it uh, also what I can see from this is like you need to know that you deserve to have someone that is able to give you back what you're giving that it shouldn't be love it shouldn't be like a one way you know how they say one way street <laughs> something like this um, it has to be both ways it's giving and receiving and if they not giving and if they're being manipulative and if they're being like disrespectful or if they're not treating you all right uh, then don't allow it don't don't accept such people in your life and it's like when you allow these people in your life is as if you give them approval to behave like that it's like you don't value when you allow people like this it's like you don't value yourself so you need to value yourself enough is not to allow this sort of treatment and behavior from others so it all comes down to you 
your own um, attitude towards yourself. So you need to understand that uh, you need more, you deserve more, and you shouldn't be stuck in a situation where you're not having your needs met. So yeah, let me see, let me do one more for the future. What can you expect in the future? So from these spreads that we did, I got the message that you need to be brave enough to let go and know that you deserve more, that you don't have to put up with bad behavior from people and that you need to respect yourself more as to not allow them to treat you like that, to lie to you or to, I don't know, mistreat you in any way. You need more, you deserve more. Um, and yes, let's see what's in the future. And usually we allow people to treat us like that because we don't value ourselves. We don't, because if we did value ourselves, we wouldn't allow that sort of behavior. If we did have self worth and know that we deserve more, we wouldn't be stuck in those situations. So it's sort of like this type of challenging. Again, the same stress. It seems like you need to move on, have awareness on how things are, get moving towards a new... It's a it's a lesson for you, so it's going to keep coming to you until until you learn it. You have to, you have to get over this. So... It's not going to, the universe is not going to let you go until you learn your lesson. And I think like you will with this lucidity. You'll finally know. You'll finally learn your lesson. Move on forward. Uh, see through the veils and the lies and the illusions and all this. See through all the bullshit. <laughs> Wait. See through all of it. Gain awareness. Moving on. Movement. Learn your lesson, the master. I see this as some sort of a lesson that you have to learn. Uh, new beginning, creating of something new. Get past this. And you will get past this difficulties, this thing with awareness, with gaining awareness. Like awareness and seeing the truth as it is will help you move on forward and overcome this um, type of situation of people that you met. So, yeah, like he, it's uh, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna gain more awareness, and you have to be not to be complacent. You have to keep challenge yourself to be aware and see the truth and know the truth. Um, don't get cozy with because sometimes you're feel feeling comfortable with the. Something that you know, and even if it's painful, it's somehow it's familiar, you know it, and that's maybe that's why the inability to let it go. But you need to let go, find self worth, self value, don't allow people to mistreat you, um, know that you deserve more, and you have to challenge yourself to, to have awareness, to gain awareness, and um. Keep reminding yourself these things and that's how you move on forward and that's how you don't fall for that type of like thing again because if you have awareness and if you know what's going on you're gonna see the red flags and you're gonna see all the uh, how things are and you're not gonna allow it but when you're being complacent and we're not really when you you know falling back into what you know, how you with the things that you've been used to, you're gonna repeat the same old thing and it's not gonna be good. So you need to have the awareness of seeing how things are, uh, not allowing certain things to repeat, not allow the same type of behavior and move on from a situation and be able to detach from, I don't know, toxic people, toxic situations. So, yeah, this is like a lesson for you. 
and uh, I feel like it has to do with like self worth and how you, why you allow others to treat you like this, and where does that stem from? And you have to kind of go there and heal that, and um, it has to do with your self worth. Usually, like for all of us, when we allow people to treat us bad, it's because we don't have self worth. Someone who has self worth uh and is in their power in the sense of um knowing that they deserve better they wouldn't allow people to be shitty to them they would cut them off immediately so yeah it seems like some of you guys might have a lesson with that at this time in self worth and in let it go of people letting go of people who don't deserve you basically okay so this was the reading thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later bye, -bye.